Okay, I'm going to try and explain this, what all um, has happened here. Uh, I got my new wheels, and uh, I installed, I, uh, I Loctite all the spokes, disassembled them and made sure they were all tight, and then I Loctited them. Uh, I also did it on the front, and uh, I put tubeless or airless, airless uh, tubes inside the rear ones there, and uh, they they seem to actually work really pretty well. What I really like about them is watch this here. This, the stability factor is very high with them. Uh, you can kind of see them. Uh, the thing is, is, with this much weight on them, though, and sitting still, I don't know if I can show you this here, but uh, watch this here. I can feel them, the flat spot there. The, that's a flat spot where it's been set. So it gets flat spots. That's not good. There it goes into the flat spot. I'm going to roll it up anyway uh, off the flat spot. Anyway, so that's a that's a deal breaker. Of, uh, when we finally got this straightened out, it came down to just really good tires, and my flats and things got and everything got so much better. Uh, good tubes too, but the tires I'm I'm deciding it's uh, and now they're solid rubber tires. And there's just really good tires. Now these Pirellis are really good tires. They are good tires, but they're not. Um, I noticed. Uh, I don't know about the Pirellis if you can roll them up and put them in a box, but the fact is, is these tires could you couldn't roll them up and put them in a box like they do at Walmart and stuff, because they they have a good wire. Um, uh, wire core, I guess. Uh, um, anyway, they stand up on their own, and you and you just can't roll them up and put them in a box. It's just uh, that's just anyway. And these tires have ever since I got them and put them on there, they were expensive. It was uh, forty some dollars each, but I, them and some good tubes, no more flats, and uh, it's handling it handles the weight very well. Of course, those are 26-inch tires. Now, these are 20-inch tires, which makes a huge difference. Uh, anyway, what my plan is, I think the, the airless tube things will work out great on the standard tricycle. I would be using this in there, but um, I got a 195, and it's actually too small. And it's loose on the tire. It, uh, uh, on the tires, I tried it in the, both tires, three, three or four tires. Anyway, it's just too small. They've got a bigger one, so I ordered the bigger one. I'm, I'm, I'm investing a lot of money in this research. Uh, <laughs> I hope I'm going to get back. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I just got to get it straightened out before the state fair. I've got to, I've got to get all this lined up, and I'd really like to doll it up with the windshield and the, and the plastic, um, curtain, rolled up around the side with the. Anyway, so the wheels have to be straightened out, though. I've got to be able to trust the wheels. And this here, these work really pretty good. I love the stability of it. It, uh, see how, it, uh, it, it's almost as if it was on jack stands how stable it is compared to the air but it, uh, it, I noticed one thing another thing was that uh, the rolling restriction was a lot it, it didn't coast nearly as good and it took a it takes a lot more pedal power it takes a lot more power to keep it, to get it rolling and keep it rolling with uh, with the with the airless tubes We'll see if that's the same on the on the little one. My next plan is to take them off of this, off the chariot, and put them on the standard tricycle, and take those and uh, lock, check the spokes, lock tight, disassemble them, lock tight them, get them, you know, everything ready, and then uh, install some really good wire cord, stiff tires if I can find them, and uh, really 
heavy, heavy duty tubes that I can maybe run a little higher air pressure in. Anyway, uh, and I'm going to put that set up on this and try that on the chariot and uh, and try the airless tubes on the standard trike and I'm really hoping that they'll work because if I don't have tubes I will eliminate so much of my uh, it, I, I carry a, 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 room, a kind of a big air pump uh, several tubes for each tire and uh, you know um, and the associated tools with the, with doing that you know anyway uh, that uh, the stands, it still needs a stand. If you're going to work on it, if you have any troubles at all, you need a stand to put up the wheel and work on the wheel. So a stand is necessary, but uh, anyway, it's going to open up so much trunk space for me if I don't have to deal with these flats and, uh, and you know, and carry them stuff. Anyway, um, so that's where we're at, and today I plan on going and trying to find some really good stiff wall 20-inch tires. And, uh, and some really thick tubes, and it's probably going to be expensive. And uh, then I'll go ahead and transfer, like I say, transfer these wheels over to the, the small trike, and build the small trike wheels to put them onto the chariot. And uh, I'm still hopeful for the airless tubes to work out on the basic tricycle. This is the one that I intend on building for the city of Pueblo. It's a uh, and I can build them, I, I'm asking 2500 because I know what they go for and then what you're getting here is so much more than what they you can get anywhere else. It's got a 1000 watt motor, not a 750 or 500 or a 250, it's a 1000 watt motor. And it runs good. It's a great running. It's a, I'm, 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 I, uh, I can't tell you how happy I am with the, with the, the three wheel effect too. This that's the other nice thing. This has a differential. So it's an honest three wheel drive with your power wheel on the front and your pedal wheels on the back. It's an honest three wheel drive. It also has what all, none of them have that I've seen. It's got a twenty one speed setup. I put three sprockets on the front and there's seven on the back. It has disc brakes. They're they're not hydraulic, but it's not required. I I, I cable brakes Making things overcomplicated is just making them more expensive and, and sometimes silly. Anyway, this is a nice basic setup here. And uh, the two baskets on it is awesome, and that's, that's what you get. You get a nice setup that you, that's actually useful in the real world. Um, anyway, uh, this is what I'm trying to build for Pueblo is the basic. Now this, the chariot is a special deal and if I can get it worked out, I'd, I'd love building them and, and, and developing it into a better, you know, if I can take some weight off here and there uh, using different materials and whatnot. Anyway, um, it's a great design. It's the best one that I've seen and uh, I, I haven't looked around a whole lot. I, I'm on the internet I have, but up close and personal and whatnot. This, this, there's nothing that I've seen that even comes close to this as a, as a, as a, a fairly simple design that's elegant and uh, and very, very workable. <clears throat> so that's where we're at. That's the plan, and that's what we're going to do. <laughs> and if you're interested in a tricycle. I have uh, I have some axles coming. I hope I ordered them this morning from Brazil. And uh, uh, if you're interested, just get a hold of me, and we'll uh, get you lined up for your brand new super tricycle um, solo. I'm going to call them solos, even though they're not solar powered uh, electric tricycles. So uh, solos, I guess, is my brand name or trade name. Enlightenment solo, whatever. Blah blah blah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not very good at all that part of this. I just, uh, but I need to make some money. And it's a bargain, I'm telling you. 2500 for this. You're not going to be able to, you know, the battery's bigger, the motor's bigger. There's more gears, has a differential. It's a, it is a blast to ride. It's easy to mount. Uh, anybody can ride it. it, it uh, essentially, anybody can ride one of these. And uh, it'll hold you up. You don't have to hold it up. And it'll go, it'll get you there. And uh, I, you know, it just, uh, it's a great day tripper. 
for any trips in town. If you're if you're going 30 miles, 30 to 50 miles, bam, and no problem. This thing's gonna get you there and back. And uh, uh, a round trip, 30, 50 miles. That's what I'm telling you. But uh, uh, you're not you're not having to work hard. The motor does most of the work, and I. Uh, it's just a great way to get some air and, and work your legs, your knees, and your hips, and, and whatnot. You just can't beat it. Anyway, Enlightenment is my business name, and Solo is the, I guess, the trademark of the, the trikes I'm building. They're Swin Meridian frames, which are an ideal, great frame, with a dream bike tricycle conversion rear axle, which is just an awesome combination. 1,000 watt motor, these are, uh, hopefully that I'll be able to get more of these, but these are awesome. It's a, I can't stress how, uh, how under, they're, uh, they, per, they perform better than, than they're rated, is what I can tell you. They, I, I pump uh, 12 to 1,500 watts on a burst, and it's never kicked out or anything. Uh, this here is a 2,000 watt motor, and it just it just kind of peaks out. You, you, if you floor it, it just goes up to 19.99, and that's all it'll show you. It may be kicking out more. I don't know, but uh, I try not to be, get up in that zone. You know, I try and use as little as possible. But uh, yeah, these airless tubes, they're they're not going to allow for that. It's like just getting it rolling is like you know three, four hundred watts, and. Uh, and, and any way to get any, it's like running, you've got to run 600 to 1,000 watts just to get down the road. And uh, with the air and the tires, it wasn't, it's not like that. It, it, it rolls very nicely. So, and it makes a big difference. And uh, I'm looking for range. It's all about my range. I uh, want to be able to go all day and still have juice for the night. That's, what I, that's, the, that's the goal. Plenty of juice. And... Uh, so I'm over talking this. Hi, good morning, your chickens and the kitties. All right, okay. Anyway, get your solo tricycle. Give me a call. We'll get you going. Eye protection. That's a good thing. Bugs and, and dust and and all kinds of things get in your eyes while you're driving. And so, you want to have some good eye protection on. Okay, and uh, water. Okay, and uh, I'll just tell you, we're at 390 on the mile, the odometer. And, uh, tires look good. Brakes look good. Uh, I don't know of anything else I need. Okay. Okay, now the first thing is once you've mounted your tricycle, you do not put your feet down unless you're stopped and are dismounting it. Um, um, almost never, ever, just basically never, ever put your feet down while you're rolling. That's a, that's a bad mistake for a lot of reasons. And uh, one of the things, biggest things, is because your weight is what keeps the tricycle on the ground. All three wheels, that's that's another, that's a big rule. Always, if you can, keep all three wheels on the ground. Okay, it's, uh, and it's the most stable. Now then, you have uh, two legs, two sides, a left and a right, port and starboard. And uh, when you're going down the road and it's tilted, to the right, you'll want to put the uphill leg, the left leg down, the uphill side of the tricycle, and keep the weight on that side of the center of gravity of the tricycle. And uh, you can swing over just a little bit, and you do your hand signals. If you're turning, it's, it's, uh, you always want to keep your weight to the inside. If you're turning right, right foot down, weight all the way down is low. That's the other thing. You want your, your weight to be as low and as far out of the tri uh, uh, tricycle's uh, center of gravity as, as the pedal allows. And uh, you, you, uh, you don't have to worry about hitting the ground because of the nature of the tricycle. 
uh, always keeps you keeps your 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 pedal from hitting the ground basically, as long as you you know watch what you're doing. Anyway, uh, so I want to demonstrate that those turning on how to properly turn like that, and uh, hopefully I'll get a spot where we can do a left and a right and a left or something like that. You know, uh, or a right and a left and a right. <laughs> Anyway, um, so anyway, I'm going to be going and getting a tire. I'm going to be filming if I can find a good spot to do it. I'm going down to Fourth and Santa Fe. So basically, taking the nature trail will be the best. All my chickens are over across the street. Bad, bad chickens. <laughs> They're helping them eat the grasshoppers, so that's a good deal. I think they appreciate it. Okay. Now this one. Maybe you can see the 390, 7.8, not using any throttle, it's just pedals. Uh, this one here, and that's in the high range, that's actually high, high gear. <laughs> so uh, that gear is good up to about 20, 25 miles an hour. It's a... Uh, Okay, throw up my hand signal, put my leg on the inside up. That car, so I can't do There we go. And we're on the road here. Put my weight on the, turning left, I put my weight on the left side. Let this traffic clear just a little bit here. Okay, see now that we're just cruising along, 23, 24 miles an hour, no problem. Only using uh, 500 watts, so about half throttle. I'm not pedaling at all. Up here, it's uh, I see I can pedal though. I'm, I'm still contributing at 21. It's at a pretty fast pace. But look at the look at the wattage. Only 200 watts to maintain 20 miles an hour. That's a bargain. You know what I mean. So that's the way to extend your range. Keep your wattage usage down. Just watch that. It's kind of like a tachometer on a gas engine. It's uh, you don't want to wind it out. <laughs> And this one rides so nicely. Air tires are really nice on it. I wonder how it's going to ride with them hard rubber uh, airless tubes. It's really going to be interesting. Really going to be interesting. Basically, this kind of deal where you're losing, you know, under 200 watts, you're looking at, you can go all day like that, you know, and you're still going to have a lot of juice. Okay, throw up my hand signal. Put my weight on the right pedal, turning right. Turn a lot faster, see? And controlled. That's the most important thing. That's why you can turn faster is because you have so much more control if your weight is properly placed on the tricycle. I want to get you an ex external view. Hopefully I can get it on this here. There we go. Okay, I'll throw up my hand signal. Weight on the left. Oops, that's it. Pedal a little bit. 
Yeah, we just gotta find a good little spot on this nature trail that turns left and right. And I can show you a, a kind of a better demonstration. I'll place the camera and uh, take a look at it. See, this is just like a, like I say, it's a Pueblo's Autobahn as far as tricycles concerned. It's awesome. Perfect. My front basket mounts, I'm figuring out. I have another basket to mount, so that's going to save the day on that. For me, I, uh, I ordered two more kits, so I'm going to be ready to build two if anybody decides they want me to build them on, which I'm hoping so. Now, this is a pretty good spot here. This is uh, pretty good here. I can maybe demonstrate it pretty good. Let's see. Yep, got a good, this, good, good turn this way. Good turn to the starboard. Got us a nice dip to show how to go through dips. You want to hit dips head on if you can. You don't want to hit them sideways because it twists the frame on your tricycle. And then we've got a good turn here and another good turn there. Okay, I'm going to set the camera up here and uh, try and get a perspective here. Okay. So anyway, that's uh, usually a good demonstration, hopefully, of, uh, of how to place your weight. Uh, now see here, this is a slanted uh, kind of a dip here, so kind of a severe deal. So you kind of turn into it, try and go through it head on if you can. It doesn't twist the frame of the tricycle back and forth. <clears throat> Put the inside leg down. And when you throw in the hand signals, it actually, the hand signals really work for you on throwing your weight around, just like a cowboy on a bull. Uh, it gives you that kind of balance thing and, uh, and able to place your weight even a little further out of the center of gravity because uh, even though all your weight's down there, you can kind of swing your body out of, over the pedal a little bit. So, uh, you know, it's just stuff you need to know if you're going to be, you know, driving a lot of tricycling. Sometimes you got to get out of there, you know, so you might have to go fast. You've got to know how to handle it. That's the nice thing about these, is if you do get into trouble and you run into people who are at least on foot, you're gonna be able to get away from them. If you get on it and you know what you're doing, uh, you'll be able to get away from them. They can't keep up. Same thing with uh, most most dogs probably have a hard time picking. It, uh, it's, it's a shame with dogs, especially little dogs, <laughs> you don't want to get them chasing you because uh, they'll get under the wheels. It's, uh, anyway. I always get by with just saying, there's a good doggy, and I've never had any troubles too bad with the dogs chasing me down. Everybody loves a tricycle guy. They want a little taste, you know what I mean? Oh, right, here's a really good spot here, maybe. Let's see here, I'm gonna set up here and just let you see here. Perfect.
Hopefully we'll get some good demonstrations. Now the other thing is the same thing, but a different principle kind of thing is the tilting roads. Is, uh, if the road is tilted, you want to keep your weight on the uphill pedal, uphill side of the tricycle, if you're on a slant. It's very important. It's, uh, if you want to have control, and if you want to, you know, not crash, <laughs> then you need to know some of this stuff. Of course, if you're not going too fast, you don't really have to worry about any of that stuff. Yeah, but it's, it's nice to know even when you're not going fast because it just gives you so much more control. You're not out of control. Uh-oh. Is that a flat? No. Okay. <laughs> I always think I got a flat. I'm used to, used to them being flats. Pardon me. Hi there. Where's a good doggy? Going down to Fourth Street, I said, we on the inside. The front basket's kind of noisy on the rattle. I'll be glad to get it fixed. there nice and easy 15 miles an hour basically using little of nothing juice easy as pie anybody could do this you know Pueblo the people that are trying to help will benefit much more from a tricycle than they will a bicycle with a trailer attachment a lot more problems associated with that design problematic having a trailer and uh, whatnot. Tricycle, a lot of the folks that were trying to help have a hard time even getting on a bicycle and holding it up, stand, stand it up. The tricycle will hold them up. They don't have to hold it up. That's very important distinction on the, you know, what's the most useful and least problematic. This little design here I've got with the Schwinn Meridian frame. It's one of the high, most highly rated uh, tricycles, even though it has a kind of a terrible, if you ask me, rear axle. It doesn't have a differential, it's a single speed, and it has these kind of crappy brakes, kind of a drum brake. Anyway, if you're, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's lacking on so many levels, and when your wheels start coming off like they did on me and you get big scars on your shoulder, then uh, you start thinking about this stuff. <laughs> you gotta have a differential. That's the deal, and, and uh, you need good brakes. Have to have them. And it's, it's about, you have to have gears, I'm just gonna say, and the more the better. The 21 speed is so ideal in so many ways. It's, uh, Basically, you've got a seven-speed tricycle with three ranges. A low range, a granny range, and they've got a medium range, and a high range for the highway. Good morning. And so, anyway, you just can't beat what I'm given. None of those other tricycles you're gonna find have this big a motor. This many watts, and uh, uh, the basket utility is bigger on this one. Has a differential, has 21 speeds, has good brakes. You can lock them up That's, as long as they're properly adjusted. You can lock them up if you want to. 
anyway uh, of course you know that stress is everything when you do stuff like that everything's stressed ideally you don't want to stress your tricycle too much it's, you know it's, it's made to it's made to go 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 but uh, when you stress things that's when they break you know as long as you got roads like this one just go on forever basically keep on going no problem okay I'm thinking this is 4th Street which I gotta go to 4th Street so I'm gonna head up on this hill which I think it's a pretty big hill we'll find out oh it is I remember now I broke uh, I broke the motor on the on the solo the, uh, the old solo that's where I broke it going up this hill I didn't have a torque arm. That's another thing. Let's get a torque arm. A lot of these other ones you don't see no torque torque on them, torque arm on them. And I don't. Hopefully they've got it all figured out. I guess they probably do. But uh, I'm telling you right now, you're going to want a torque arm, especially the more powerful motor you've got. And if you're going to be doing any kind of hill climbing or heavy acceleration, or if you're a heavy heavier person, see, this is a big grade here now. I see I bumped up to 1,200. Did you? I don't know if you saw that. See. These are such good motors that you can you can go over their rated capacity. I'm standing there's about six, got up to about 800. See there, I'm not working too hard. I am pedaling. I'm, I'm pressing pretty hard, but it's not bad. And like I say, that's the high range, and it's the high gear. So. <laughs> To be going up this hill and only using, you know, 600 or so in this gear. If I wanted to use less, I could put it in a lower gear, which I probably should have demonstrated that. It, it has a nice shifter for the back. I can. You don't want to shift it under load, though. Once you're on the hill, try and be in the gear you want to use. Now, here's a look at this here. How are we going to get up this? You know, if you're a person who's kind of disabled or something and whatnot, I'm going to have to go over here. Check this out. This is so nimble and mobile. It's just unbelievable. Uh oh. There we go. It is tricky though, it ain't easy. Now, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta admit that's pretty dang nifty. Okay. Now, see, the tricycle is the king of the sidewalk. If you can walk there, you can probably get there on a tricycle. Almost as much as a bicycle, basically. I'll give the bicycles, they've got a little bit, you know, they go places that a tricycle can't. But they can't carry the load that a tricycle can carry getting there. And that's more important than a lot, about anything, is uh, being able to carry cargo. I mean, what good is transportation if you can't take anything with you? You know what I mean? On these basic ones, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to put the fancy lights. I might, I'm looking at it, but that'll be, it'd be more expensive, you know, that's, it's a hundred dollars more on this and that for stuff like that, and everything adds up. Next thing you know, it's doubled your cost and halved your profit, whatever, you know, halved, it, halved what you used to have as profit, you got half before that and half before that, and pretty quick, you ain't got no profit, you know what I mean? Okay, now I put mine on the uphill side of this. See, it's kind of tilted to the left, to the port. So it just makes, it gives me so much more control going at this higher speeds like this. Now, watch the mirror. Make sure there's nobody coming. I would like to take a look behind me. That lets anybody know I'm doing it too. And then I go out into the... 
And I'll just stay on the sidewalk where there's no marked tricycle road here. And I'll show you how nimble the tricycle is on the pay on the sidewalk. That's that's where most people want to stay. Most people are pretty intimidated about riding a tricycle at all in traffic, especially. So the sidewalk's a great place to stay. It's a lot safer. Keep my weight on the uphill side of these and I can go right through them, see? No problem. The weight's on the other side, it works against you. That's the thing to know. If you're doing it backwards, then it, it works backwards for you too. That's what'll get you tipped over. Take a look in the mirror, take a look behind me, go. Okay. It's nice to, when you're putting that leg down, to apply the power to it, and it gives you kind of that burst. You know that burst of power there when you put your pedal down. If you do it in the right spot, it works out for you. I'm in a blind spot here where people can't see me. So I'll wait. There it says seven seconds, six seconds, five, four. Breaking the law, break. We made it. We made it. Breaking the law, breaking the law. We ain't breaking the law. We made it. The Colorado law says that you don't have to stop for stop signs. Tricycles don't anyway. Uh, if traffic permits. That's actual the truth. Colorado and Pueblo, that's the law. Colorado, best state in the union sometimes. Sometimes they're the worst. But wait. Yes, sir. Okay, there we go. Yeah, knowing where to place that weight makes things go so much better. You just, I can't even tell you. Uh, and uh, the way these seats are, it makes it really nice to lock your leg in on that leg that you got down. You can lock your leg in real good and then put up your hand signal and you're just like a cowboy. You got, you got a lot of control over your center of gravity. There we go, I guess. Good. We're going to have an intersection here. Morning. Morning. Yeah, if Pueblo could give, a, give the poor folks a tricycle each, they would do so much to increase make their life better, give them a chance. They could actually get out there and get a job and be able to get to a job. Wait. And carry some cargo while they're doing it, go grocery shopping when they need groceries, actually pay bills, go and pay bills, or go to the bank or whatever they gotta do. The most useful thing to them is obviously the tricycle. As long as it's set up right, and, uh, that's another thing is learning how. I, I recommend everybody who's got a tricycle, you know, I, I can give a kind of a quick course on how to drive them, I guess, and take them down on the nature trail and, you know, go on a trip out to the out to the reservoir or something, you know, whatever, it'd be a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, teach them how to ride a tricycle properly. And the, you gotta learn the traffic laws and figure out all that. It's, I consider it a slow vehicle. So it, it, you get a slow vehicle sign Wait. and it, uh, and whatever law applies to slow vehicles is, is that's what you fall under. And that's a good place to be, I'll tell you what. It's a, uh, never complain about it because it's a great place to be.
or uh, police just leave you alone if you ain't messing anybody up or anything. They ain't causing no havoc or anything. See, I actually get around faster than the traffic does. <laughs> actually, a lot of spots. It's kind of funny. You know, in congested areas, tricycles, there's a lot of places traffic can't. That's funny. that parking brake. All of them got to have a parking brake. Uh, at least one parking brake. It's tricky because if you've got a, any kind of brake light, you got to have one of the handles dedicated to that and the other one kind of dedicated to parking brake. I haven't seen too many levers that have both. None that have come to me anyway. And I got to go with what I got, so I'm building up parts. So when I build these trikes, I'll have what I need when I need it. I can throw them together to get them out there. Great Dubai. Bike. Ski and hike. Ski, bike, and hike. I love that. Hope they got the tires I need. I got really good tires down here for the old solo. Never had no troubles after I got them tires. That was a good deal. You don't have to worry about working it in the sun. Five miles down here, That's according to the odometer. Okay, uh, let's see, we'll just head back the way we came, I guess. That's the way to do that. Wait. Okay. Don't get no better than having a tricycle for us poor folks. Hello, hear me out. Bessemer Historic Society, hear me out. Don't put me out like 
you guys know, you know, you know. You know how you done me wrong. Sure be nice if you make it right someday. Or try to. A tricycle is an electric vehicle that actually works uh, so many levels. Your electric cars are all right, but you know what? You're going to have to pay. You're not going to have a resale value. You're going to have to pay to get rid of them when the battery runs out, which batteries do just, you know, over time. You're going to, the battery's going to go. And, and the new batteries are going to be so much better, you're not going to want it anyway. As, as you know, as technology develops, hopefully we can get the more solos and the actual solar powered. That's the dream: is to have an actual solar powered vehicle that's so low maintenance that you don't have to do anything. You don't have to put anything in it. You just get on it and go. Wait. Okay. Don't have to plug it in, don't have to use no juice, don't have to have a generator. And you can power your camp and whatever in an emergency situation. It's a power source. How many vehicles is that utilitarian? Volkswagen can't even do all that stuff. <laughs> For a smart car, they say you got a smart car, well. Solo's genius. Wait. <sighs> I got my own tubes there. So hopefully I'll be able to get that thing going. tilted here but all I do is put that foot on the uphill side kind of lean my body that way and nope I got real good control go right through the whole obstacle course that's what the stuff you got to know when you're driving driving a tricycle and not everybody's going to tell it to you that's why Charlie's so valuable to you or should be nobody listens to Charlie Nobody listens. Yeah, no. <laughs> and if you did, you can't admit it. Nobody can, because everybody would be, you listen to Charlie? Oh, boy. And then, here you go. You can't talk to Charlie. He's always got a recorder going. <laughs> That's probably, that probably is part of my problem, is people don't want to be recorded. You know what, though? That's just because... They got stuff they don't want to, they, they, got a, they got too many things they want to hide, or they got too many lies they don't want to get caught in. You know, best off to run a little of that as possible. You know what I mean? Thanks for a better life. These poor folks can get everywhere they need to go. I don't know. The city could resell parts, or I can, I guess. Run a maintenance deal or whatever. 
fix up the broken ones. Stuff's gonna break, especially when you got regular folks riding it, you know, don't know when they're learning what they're doing. They're gonna mess stuff up pretty good. Here and there. Shoulder, don't. No. Let's see how these folks probably use one of these. Here. You're okay, no problem. We got it, thank you. something to eat downtown oh I don't know I can't really afford it God I've been spending money I'm over investing in this venture I ordered two more axles and uh, I'll be ready to build them if anybody decides they want one and maybe if it works out with the airless tubes Maybe they'll be flat proof. As long as they don't get flat spots in them. And they get, you know, if they if they drop my range too much, because they're too hard to roll, well there's that too, you know. So I think I'm just gonna try and locate the best possible tires that I can. I've got really good tubes here. $20 tubes. <laughs> this is a strange road. It doesn't look bumpy, but it feels bumpy as hell. Have I got a flat? No. <laughs> Something's feeling weird. This is a weird road. Got a little thing going, I can't even see it. But it's there. There's the river. Nature trail. Hang a second with it pretty quick here. Uh, it's smoother than this is. They spent a lot of money on this bridge. It to be on already. That's kind of weird. I don't know what to make of that. Might have to tell the city inspectors. The city bridge inspectors or whoever. Got no problems coming up. I don't know. It is. It's weird. It's really weird. I gotta say. You can see the cracks, but you can't really tell that there's this ripple. There's a ripple in it. This, is, this bridge isn't that old. It's only 10 years old or less, I think. Yep, and they're smoothed out. Huh. Well, we'll have to watch and see what the story is on that. Over the years. Pueblo Bridge is falling down. Falling down, falling down, Pueblo Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. What will you do when the bridge falls down, when the bridge falls down, when the bridge falls down? What 
will you do when the roof falls down, my fair lady? Will you sink or swim? Will you sink or swim? Will you sink or swim? My fair lady Pueblo Bridge is falling down Falling down Falling down Pueblo Bridge is falling down My fair lady I don't know. I guess I'm just forgetting. I'm just going to go. I don't care. I'll go down here and I'll go on the road. I can go through the park. I can go through the city park. That's a real nice ride. Nice ride to have a lunch. I'd rather go buy taco bills. Los Carnita. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it on me? Yep. Oh. But I gotta go out to Pueblo West and try the bike shop out there and see what kind of heavy duty tires they got. I need some tires that are really thick sidewalls. Heavy duty badass. Runs down that way. Wait. Place wait hillside, make a turn Go on the inside, make the turn back on the hillside, make that turn. See there, I was able to keep eight miles an hour through all that obstacle. If I didn't know what I was doing, I'd have to slow down to almost nothing. So there's a lot, lot to learn, and it's very useful information about tricycles. If you know about tricycles, you pretty much know it all, I guess. So you need to learn about tricycles. You hear me? Do you understand me? Do you hear me? I was talking to you. Yes, I is. This size, trying to tell you. Some people don't listen too good. They know everything already. Can't tell them nothing. 
I'm kind of like that, I guess. Hand signal. That's what I got to show you. I got to show you the hand signals and how cool they are when you're riding. How they good they work. Yeah, I'll show you here. This would be a good spot to do that. Oh. Let's see a little bit better. Kind of catch both corners there. Best. demonstration we'll see when we do the editing on this here fantastic uh, this fantastic uh, <laughs> adventure that we're on okay there we go see down a good Brady Hill now just coasting now see it almost, it gets a little bit of a shimmy, but I can actually kind of let go of the handlebars a little bit. These are nice and straight frames, everything's good. See, put that weight on that inside, on the outside there, and the inside. Shift the weight as you need it. You can make turns a lot faster. And negotiate tilted roads a lot with a lot more control. See there? 20 miles an hour, you know, shows you what kind of... I, I can I can show you. We'll just go ahead and show you how... I'll run it on up there, will you? Now, see, we're showing a bar when, I, when I'm juicing it up to 1,000 watts. At, uh, you see the bar there, so... I can use my pedals, see... Kick it up to 20, 25 miles an hour is a good speed for tricycles. That's fast, very fast for tricycles. Bicycles too, if you think about it, it's pretty good speed. You're getting, you're getting there. You know what I mean? Oh boy. Use some of them watts here. Perfect for Pueblo. Perfect. Wish you guys would listen to me. 
for once. my hand signal out. I almost, you know, I, I like it because it, it does, it gives me a lot of control. <laughs> that was a perfect example of uh, good control. That guy kind of snuck up on me. <laughs> oh, there you go, see there? Lizard almost got ran over. Stay on the path there. What's the matter with you? He wants the sun. Is what he wants. That one is warm. See, it's in the sun. Feels good. I like it. But you might get ran over by a tricycle. You gotta be careful. See how I shift my weight inside. Fly through the turn. Fly through the next turn. Shift it to the inside. There. Shifting the weight, keeping over 15 miles an hour, almost 20 miles an hour. See there? That's what I'm trying to tell you. See there? And it uses less energy. If you know what you're doing, you're going to get a longer range because. You, there's a lot, you know, if you can get 20 miles an hour for 100 watts, that's a bargain. You need to get that. That's a good deal. Get it while the getting's good. And if you got to do some turning, well, you got to figure out how to do that. You know what I mean? Let's see, this trip is, uh, I guess, well, five miles. It's, so it's basically kind of halfway across Pueblo, basically, from my point of view, anyway. This tricycle's perfect. You get anywhere you need to go and get home again. Put it back on the charger, and it's ready to go again. In short order. And you can get anywhere in town and home again. I tell you, every 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 trip's an adventure until you kind of get it, what you know what you're doing. But uh, it's a, it's a fun adventure. Life's for adventures. That's what it's for. Have a little fun. Figure out how things work and get something done. You know what I mean? To it. There we go, see here. I love the ride of the air, and I love that it goes, it coasts so much better. They say that that's some kind of a rolling coefficient or something that the air compresses as it goes under the wheel and then decompresses and kind of gives you back what you lost compression. Compression is sort of in a cycle. Anyway, it's obvious that. Air, air tires definitely are easier to pedal. <laughs> There's no doubt them hard rubber tires were a lot harder to, to, to roll. And the funny thing is, because they were heavier around the outside of them, when you got them rolling up on the stand, they coasted for way longer because they have the weight anyway. And But being on the ground, they slow down more than the air ones. And it's it has to do with the science of the pneumatic tires and, and how good they were. You don't realize it until you try and do something different. Now, if I could get solid rubber tires that were just right, I would be, that would be so perfect. But I don't know. Anyway, the flat stops is a deal breaker. It, when it, if it sits and gets flat spots, that's not going to work. I've got to be able to get on it and go. 
no BS. So I guess it's just a matter of getting some really kick-ass tires. Kick-ass tubes that can take a little more. I got the spokes figured out. Let's see, I'm just gonna go down the road on this one. on the way side and I can get out of here and that's a that's a that's a tight turn that's more than a 90 degree turn so that's a tough one to make there bumpy too but I know where to put my weight so I cruised right through it probably stayed over 10 miles an hour I imagine through the whole thing that's that's tough to do unless you know what you're doing Now's where I gotta decide if I'm gonna go home or going out to Pueblo West and back. That'll make this a probably like a 30 mile trip around. Still wave to the old homestead. Grandma and grandpa. Okay. See here, 18 miles an hour for two, 300 watts. That's a bargain. That's a good deal. I'm pedaling to do it though. But I'm getting a good exercise. Keep my wind up, make me a good singer. Uh, give me the lung capacity that I need to be the great singer that I am. Oh, yes. And a uh, vocalist. He's not a singer, he's a vocalist. He writes, sir. Uh, Ma'am, sir, whatever. You're all right. You're all right. Okay. I'm thinking seriously about going out to Pueblo West. I think I will. That'll show off the range on this trip across town and a trip out to Pueblo West. On the same charge. This is kind of uphill grade here. Always a pretty tough pull on this 24th. It's nice to go east on, but it's kind of tough going west. But I'm a, just under 20 miles an hour cruising.
You know you're getting a good workout when your chest starts hurting. You get a little dizzy. Okay. Oh, goodness. Set that parking brake. Okay. Oh. 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 Look at it now, Pueblo. It's changing every day. Oh. Ten years time, all this is going to be so different. It's going to be unbelievable. Mm. I guess they're calling it. Butcher's Folly upside down, whatever that is. E. E. Off. Sre. Chum. E. Off. Sir. Chum. Butcher's Folly. What a strange name. Okay, kind of creepy in a way. <sighs> okay, all right. Oh boy, it feels good to be in the wind. Yeah, cool me off there a little bit. I'm gonna throw my hand signal up. Everybody knows what I was doing. Make my corner. I'm kind of putting it under power. This belt right here is where you miss the solar panels, putting you in the shade. But it's nice to be out in the sunshine. It's good and healthy. Vitamin D, all that business. Here's some sunshine, burn them bugs off you. Blow that stink off you. You know what I mean. Oh, oh boy. There's no doubt this is going to be the longest trip that this battery's ever taken, I think, for sure. I don't think I've went over, uh, well, 25 miles out to Brad's and back. So, uh, yeah, it should be fine. We'll see. I noticed it's already lost a bar, though. Of course, that's where I'm giving it throttle. But, uh, oh, yeah. I can't pedal all the way there and all the way back. <laughs> I guess I could if I had to. Or not. <laughs> Gotta do something. Trike's 50% better than bike. Everybody know that. Four out of five, your mama breathe. Hit. Got you, smart car. Solo was a genius. Yeah.
I should have went for went for broke, but I guess it's okay. Uh, I could have made it too. <laughs> Big hill here. Ay, ay, ay. Bumpy shoulders. I hate bumpy shoulders. Here we go. Bumpy shoulders. Oh, bumpy shoulders. Bumpy shoulders. Oh, I hate bumpy shoulders. Flat earthers out there, I understand how you feel, but I drive an electric tricycle, solar powered tricycle, and I can tell you the world is mostly uphill. There's no doubt. We're in a hollow earth.
being projected from the center. Oh, oh boy. That's an honest bar down. I think that's, well, Matt got it down the bar, maybe. I don't know, anyway. We're getting into new territory on this battery. That's why I think the batteries on the solar trike are gonna last so long. It's because they really never ever get off the pole. Estimation should last a lot longer. They never get discharged, you know what I mean? Nineteen miles an hour for a little to no watts, that's a bargain. Hundred watts. Twenty miles an hour, that's a damn good deal. I'll take that deal. Yeah, I could use a little downhill run about now, it'd be nice. Jimmy. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's never downhill in Colorado. The prairie dogs don't, they want you. that second bar that'd be officially in the half tank zone i better conserve my money i my, my, <laughs> conserve my uh energy i'll be a pedaling a lot coming back and skinned our knees. Goodbye, my friend, it's hard to die when all the birds are flying in the sky. Now that the spring is in the air, pretty chicks are everywhere. Think of me and I'll be there. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the stars we could reach were just starfish on the beach. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the hills that we climbed were just seasons out of time. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the stars we could reach were just starfish on the beach. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the swine and the song. Like the seasons have all gone Goodbye, Papa, please pray for me I was the black swan of the family 
You tried to teach me right from wrong. Too much wine and too much song. Wonder how I got along. Goodbye, Papa, it's hard to die. When all the birds are singing in the sky. Now that the spring is in the air, little children everywhere, when you see them I'll be there. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun, but the stars we could reach were just starfish on the beach. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun, but the hills that we climbed were just seasons out of time. Well, we had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the wine and the song, like the seasons, have all gone. Goodbye, Cherie, my trusted wife. Without you, I would have had a very lonely life. You cheated with lots of other men. But then I forgave you in the end, though your lovers were my friends. Goodbye, Cherie, it's hard to die when all the birds are chasing the sky. Now that the spring is in the air, and so lovers come and go, but I still love you so. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the stars we could reach were just starfish on the beach. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the hills that we climbed were just seasons out of time. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the wine and the song, like the seasons, have all gone. Goodbye, Eli, my only child. You gave me love and helped me find the sun. And every time that I was down, you would always come around and get my feet back on the ground. Goodbye, Eli, it's hard to die when all the birds are flying and singing and chasing the sky. Now that the spring is in the air, Beautiful flowers and birds and bees everywhere. I wish that we could both be there. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the stars we could reach were just starfish on the beach. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the hills that we climbed were just seasons out of time. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the wine and the song, like the seasons, have all gone. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the hills that we climbed were just seasons out of time. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. But the wine and the song, like the seasons have all gone. truck jacked me up <sighs> she already got me a flat well there you go